this is Mrs. Nightmare here. We'll continue reading Even Monsters Can Learn to Love, Chapter 6. Before we get started, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more creepypasta and fanfictions out there. Until then, let's get started. My eyes widen as the small attic room... Uh, my eyes wandered around the small attic room as the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Black like tar began seeping through from the pages of, of the book and pulling on my floor. Dropping the book in surprise as my blue eyes searched in the dark room as a jet as black tar like ooze seeped through the walls also. A type that almost looked like it would consume everything in black mass. A dark chuckle emerged from the hole of my room. More ooze dripping out of it and it started bubbling into a single mass, climbing higher and higher. I was scared, no lie. The wood creaked below the black tar as it took shape of something with large horns sprouting out from the mass as two red eye, glowing eyes and a close mouth spread below the eyes as it clawed and flexed out of from the ooze. The shape was almost done as it closed its eyes or what were those things was was red and black monster. Ah, uh, you seem stunned, it spoke, but it sounded more like seven different voices. A headache filled in my head as I was too stunned at this creature. What are you? I asked as a low rumble of laughing come from it. Who am I? Is what you should be referring me to. He said, taking a step forward. And then it sp sp sparked into in me. Zalgo. I murmured as my blue eyes never leaving that thing. He nodded with seven mouths grinning. Zago was black with red stripes, two mouths, and on his shoulders were four mouths, went down to his chest, a dark aura surrounding him that seemed to fill the entire room in this dark horizon. He almost looked like he was floating as his red eyes had a single black slit through them large black claws that were at the end of his long arms with a red cape. Two horns sprouted up from his head as he took a step closer. You're scared. Perfect. He laughed as the black blue started creeping up my legs. I kicked out of my legs trying to get away from it, get it off, dripping it off my, of my legs. Grabbing the lamp, I checked it at Zalgo, who only caught it. In a flash, catching it or whatever. Nice try, he grinned, as my legs were held in place, as his clawed hands pinned me to the wall, as he moved his face to mine. His face was so close, as I, his gaze was staring staring into mine. Calmness slowly seeped over me as I started to stare into those deep red orbs. Why the fuck were you not trying to kill this bastard? Or why wasn't I trying to kill this bastard? The both of us quickly looked downstairs at the door slamming and footsteps could be heard from below the stairs. Zalgo growled as he watched the door open before turning to me. I'll be seeing you tonight, Eve, he said, and he was gone. Wait, how did you know my name? I questioned and looked around the room. The hole was still there, but the, all the tar was gone. Hey, little shit, get down here, or you're go going hungry tonight. Roger yelled from downstairs. Wait. I thought he, that he already brought me food. 
growling slightly, I got off my bed and ran downstairs on the floor, creaking again. Take it, Roger said, giving me some mac and cheese that looked kind of old. My face scrunched up in disgust as mold was already growing on it. Proving my point, I opened my mouth before I could say anything. He was already gone. Stupid bastard. I swear he... The head and headed back stairs. Seeing the expired food on my shelf and finding the same black book on my pillow with a note with red ink. Take a few steps forward and picking and picking up the small note. Stay up. You may need these in the future. It Reading it, I open the book to translate the words in a few pages instead of the fucked up shit before. Huh? You said... I said and read the words while something was very wrong. About reading this, it felt very right. It also made me feel that I had some sense of power, even if it was a small amount. But... Zalko's words echoed in my head as I stared in, into the book. I'll see you tonight, Eve.